Peggy 12. Hi, this is Tim Schwalk, producer on Heroes of Ruin at In Space, and today we're going to focus on multiplayer gameplay and the Gunslinger. Here you can see how our seamless multiplayer experience works. As a host, you'll get a notification when someone joins or leaves your game, and at that point, the difficulty of the level will adjust itself on the fly. Up to three others can join my game, either locally or over Wi-Fi, and these can be either friends or strangers. You can voice chat with friends over Wi-Fi, and you can even talk to non-friended players, if your system's parental control settings allow for it. Here's an example of a simple strategy you can use when you combine a ranged character with a melee character. The Savage can keep enemies at bay with a strong melee attacks while the Gunslinger fires at them from a safe distance. There are of course more in-depth strategies where specific powers are concerned, but this is a tried and true way to combine forces. As with all battles in the game, this one actually becomes more difficult as additional players join the fray. Of course, with additional allies, you open yourself up to all sorts of strategic advantages. One cool thing to note is that all buffs are shared between party members at certain distances when they're at their max level. Another cool thing is that you can earn benefits by playing with your friends. As you play with a friend, you can level up your friendship rank, earning boosts that only exist while playing with that specific friend. For example, if Tony and I are level 1 friends, then our health and energy will replenish as we hit checkpoints, but only if we're in a game together. The bonuses only get better from there. Heroes of Ruin is a lot of fun when playing alone, but the full potential of the title is unlocked when you join the quest to cure Ataraxis with other gamers. Watch for Heroes of Ruin, coming soon exclusively to the Nintendo 3DS.